Welcome to FIRE's educational video series. In this video, we will continue with where we left off in the previous video and talk about the remaining valuable guidelines and suggestions relating to drawing and using trend lines. So let us get started. When drawing trend lines, don't just draw it the traditional way in which you are drawing an uptrend line connecting supports or a downtrend line connecting resistances. In fact, whenever possible, also draw trend lines using the unorthodox approach in which you are also drawing an uptrend line connecting resistances or a downtrend line connecting supports. Doing so would allow you to identify where the price could end up meeting with resistance in an uptrend or meeting with support in a downtrend. In this chart, notice that an uptrend line has first been drawn connecting the first two supports. Also, see that an uptrend line connecting the first two resistances has been drawn. See how this unorthodox uptrend line ended up acting as a resistance where the price rally halted before reversing lower. Eventually, see that this traditional uptrend line was also broken signaling at a reversal in trend from up to down. Notice in this chart how the construction of an unorthodox uptrend line signaled the chartist where the price could end up meeting with resistance during this uptrend. Often, we are used to drawing trend lines on a bar or a candle chart and tend to ignore drawing them on the line chart. Well, it would help and add value by frequently drawing trend lines on the line charts as well. The reason being, unlike a bar or a candle chart which takes high and low into consideration, a line chart is based only on the closing price. Hence, by ignoring the price extremes, line charts can offer new and additional insights which a bar or a candle chart might not have offered. As a result, get into the habit of drawing trend lines not only on bar and candle charts but also on line charts. In this chart, notice that after testing the trend line thrice, price broke above the trend line on the fourth test. However, if you closely observe, price never really managed to sustain above the trend line and never really built on the upside momentum. Sometimes, looking at the line chart can help to address such issues. This is the same chart that we showed previously. The only difference is that a line chart is now used in place of the bar chart. In this chart, the region where the bar chart gave a breakout is shown. However, see that the line chart did not give a breakout at this point. By looking at the line chart, a trader could have avoided the false breakout signal that was generated on the bar chart. Later, see how the price advanced once it broke above the trend line on the four test. Most of the time, we spend our time analyzing linear price charts. Even when looking at a long period when the price has changed significantly, we refer to linear price charts. While there is nothing wrong in doing this, keep in mind that when analyzing longer time frame charts during which the price has changed significantly, it would be wiser to have a look at the log price charts as well. Occasionally, you will be surprised to see how smoothly trend lines fit on log price charts, thereby enabling the chartist to identify supports and resistances much better. This is the long-term log-scale chart dating back to 2004, which is a 16-year period. An uptrend line is drawn connecting the two important lows and is then projected into the future. Similarly, another uptrend line is drawn connecting the two highs and is then projected into the future. Towards the fag end of the chart, See how the higher uptrend line acted as a strong resistance to price from where the price reversed lower. 
Notice that the decline from this high found support near the lower uptrend line from where the price reversed higher again. This is the same chart as was shown previously. However, we have now used the linear price scale over the log price scale. Observe that in a linear price scale, the price move from 2004 to 2014 is barely noticeable. Post this, however, see how steep the rally got. Because of this, it is not possible to draw a trend line smoothly and efficiently. See the difference? Notice how well the log price chart helped us to identify major resistance and support because we could draw trend lines smoothly on it. Hence, when analyzing long-term charts wherein the prices change significantly, get into the habit of looking at log charts as well. On the other hand, for the shorter term where the price has not changed materially, it doesn't really matter what scale you are referring to. Don't try to force fit a trend line. If you are unable to draw one, ignore it. Instead, try to search for other points or regions on the chart that will enable you to draw trend lines smoothly. Notice this chart. Here, a trend line has been force fitted just to show that price is breaking below it. However, see that the distance between the first low and the second low is too wide while that between the second low and the third low is too short. Such a trend line might be of little help in signaling the health of the trend, given how unevenly apart the lows are. So far, we have talked about several critical guidelines relating to drawing and interpreting trend lines. However, keep in mind that even if several of these guidelines are followed, trend lines are not foolproof and their breaks could still fail occasionally. How do you avoid this? Well, there is not much that you can really do. Patterns can fail even if every step is taken to ensure at a greater probability of success. The only way to get around this is to be disciplined and give utmost importance to risk management. Once a trade has been entered, you should always have a stop loss in place. No matter how convincing the buy or sell signal is, never trade without a stop loss and never trade more than you can afford to lose on that particular trade. Risk management and position sizing is of utmost importance. In this chart, Notice that the price was trading firmly above the uptrend line. As this uptrend line was tested quite a bit, it was an important uptrend line. Eventually, see that the price broke below this uptrend line. It also went on to create a lower low, thereby signaling at a reversal in trend. In such a case, it would have made sense to initiate a short position. However, as said, Stop loss is critical when initiating a trade. In this case, one possible stop loss could be a tick or two above the high of the tall bar that led to the trend line break. Later, see that the price declined a bit post entering the trade. However, the decline stopped soon and price started to head higher. Eventually, see that the price crossed above the stop loss level thereby triggering the stop loss on this trade. See how sharply the price eventually rallied post the stop loss was triggered. Now imagine how big the loss would have been had the trader not exited the position at the desired stop loss level. The purpose of this chart is to highlight that trend line breaks can fail. Hence, one needs to pay careful attention to risk management and position sizing at all times. Last but not the least, you can roughly estimate how much the price will decline once an uptrend line has been broken and the break has been confirmed. Similarly, you can also estimate how much the price will advance once a downtrend line has been broken and the break has been confirmed. And how do you estimate the extent of the price move? Well, to calculate the potential downside price target once an uptrend line breaks, you must calculate the vertical distance between each peak and the trend line. 
Of these, the one that has the maximum vertical distance must be subtracted from the breakdown level to arrive at a rough price estimate. In the case of this chart here, we can calculate four different vertical distance between each peak and the trend line. Of these, the vertical distance between the second peak and the trend line is the highest. This vertical distance would then be subtracted from the trend line break to arrive at the price target. In a similar fashion, an upside price target can also be calculated once the price breaks above the downtrend line. In the case of this chart, we can calculate four different vertical distance between each draw and the trend line. Of these, the vertical distance between the third draw and the trend line is the highest. This vertical distance would then be added to the trend line break to arrive at the price target. Kindly note that these targets are only rough estimates. One needs to ensure that the targets are logical and practical. In the case of this chart, the vertical distance between each peak and trend line is calculated. Of these, the distance between the second peak and the trend line is the greatest. Once the price broke below the trend line and a trend reversal was confirmed below the break of the horizontal line, this vertical distance can be subtracted from the uptrend line breakdown level to arrive at a rough price target. Notice that the price decline well exceeded the potential target of the trend line break. These are the key trend line related guidelines and suggestions that we wanted to talk about in this video in addition to those that we spoke in the previous video. I would highly recommend you spend good amount of time to understand the guidelines that we talked about over the course of the last two videos. Well, that was all that we wanted to talk about in this video. If you liked our video, do not forget to click on the like button below. Also, hit the subscribe button to subscribe to our YouTube channel and the bell icon to receive regular updates from our site. Last but not the least, we have a dedicated space for School of Stocks related discussions on FIRES community. We encourage you to interact with us on School of Stocks community page by visiting the link shared below. Thank you for watching this video.